A uh, very exciting weekend ahead as the Okotoks dogs are kicking off their season. And I'm being joined this morning by pitchers. We have Nick, we have Liam, along with the dogs' vice president, William, on the end. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. An exciting start ahead. And, William, let's start with you and tell us a little bit about the 10th anniversary and for maybe Calgarians who aren't familiar with the dogs, what the league is all about. We sure will. And it is a very exciting weekend for us. 10 years of baseball in Okotoks is just phenomenal. World class stadium at Siemens Stadium. We expect sold out clouds all, crowds all weekend, and we're celebrating 10 great years of exciting baseball. It's a short 15 minute drive. Fully a third of our fan base is Calgary based, wow. and we're just delighted that people have such a great time at Siemens Stadium. We won't want to miss a minute of our 10th anniversary season. Okay, the 10th anniversary at kicking off this year, and Liam, you are a senior. What yeah. do you most look forward to at the beginning of the season? I uh, just look forward to getting back in front of the crowds. The fans there are amazing. Um, playing the facility, the, it's like a major league style. Um, the environment is, is as close to professional as a lot of us will ever get to. Um, and so just the, the atmosphere of the field and getting back on there and playing in front of the thousands of fans every night, it's an amazing opportunity. Cool. And Nick, it's a hometown crowd for you. What is yeah. it like uh, performing in front of these fans? Ah, it's great. I mean, there's, no, there's not many college experiences like it. I mean, definitely not in Canada. There's nowhere where you're going to play in front of three, 4,000 people every night. So, I mean, especially to get to do it right uh, where I grew up, it's... It's pretty special. Pretty special. Uh, special season ahead. And tell us a little bit about the caliber of talent and the competition that we'll get to see, William. You know, this, these leagues, the WNBL, Western Major Baseball League, is Canada's equivalent of the Cape Cod League. And that is where top college talent come to stay in shape over the summer, get seen by scouts, get placed at better schools or an opportunity to play professional baseball. Right. Very high level. These are NCAA, NAIA. I know these two players beside me are a little shy telling you how about the <laughs> level of baseball they play, but it is a very crisp, very enthusiastic. These guys are all enthusiastic about what they do and excited because there's 10 people on their college roster at every position waiting to take their place. Wow. So it's very enthusiastic, very energetic. They play with a passion and an energy. They volunteer their time as top college athletes from NCAA and NAIA schools. They're not compensated in any way for playing. They're on scholarships, and they're here because they're excited to play and they're passionate about the sport. Very high level, very competitive, great rivalries. The fans just have a wonderful time, not only with the baseball experience, but the whole atmosphere in the stadium is just a, a lot of fun. Excellent. So the talent pool is quite deep. And, and Liam, for you, uh, tell us a little bit about the season. And you basically go with no break. So you come right here and you start training. Yeah, that's right. All of our college seasons end um, at the end of April, beginning of May, middle of May. And, um, <clears throat> and so we basically just come out right here and get started right away. We start training um, at our facilities, which, again, are top of the line. And then our season goes, we play 48 games in June and July, um, so minimal days off, and then playoffs begin the beginning of August and go through the middle of August until about the 15th, 16th, um, which the championships are, and so we're hoping to make it all the way this year. Awesome. And what would it take to make it all the way? Do you think the team has it? What are you seeing so far? Um, I think we have, like, you look up and down the roster this year, we have a lot of guys coming back from last year where we had the best regular season record in the league. I mean, a lot of guys coming back, and the guys we added are top-notch. Uh, baseball player, so I think I think this year we're looking really good. Awesome. I imagine you have uh, the elements to contend with when it comes to Canadian baseball in the summer. <laughs> is on, that yeah. on, a, true? on occasion, yeah. although the, yeah, we watch the weather really closely, and in our 10 years, we've only had four rained out games. Our field is incredibly well designed, so it drains beautifully. Uh, weather can be a challenge, but only four rained out games in 10 years. And the weatherman tells us we're in for a hotter, drier, than usual summer and if this opening weekend is any indication it's going to be terrific hot sunny and beautiful all, all the way through okay well lots of opportunities to check out the dogs friday and saturday as well as sunday taking on medicine hat and then edmonton to cap off the weekend uh, best of luck in the season we look forward to a good one